Few compounds are more important to health than magnesium. It plays a vital role in bone and cell membranes, it's involved in over 700 enzymatic reactions, and it's required to synthesize DNA, RNA, and proteins, the building blocks of life. Yet recent studies show that almost 100% of the population may not get enough of this crucial nutrient. And that's terrible news because magnesium deficiency is associated with numerous health problems, from cardiovascular disease to dementia to osteoporosis. In this video, I'll explain why magnesium is so important, why most people are falling short, and how to optimize your intake through diet and supplementation. Ready? Let's dive in. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Crasser with another Tuesday tip video for you. Magnesium is an essential mineral that we can't live without. It's involved in energy production, glucose regulation, the development of bone, muscle contraction, regulating normal heart rhythm, nerve function, and the production of glutathione, one of the most important antioxidants in the body. In addition to magnesium's direct actions, it also supports the functions of many other nutrients. For example, virtually all enzymes in the body that metabolize vitamin D require magnesium, which is needed for the biosynthesis, transport, and activation of vitamin D. Given these critical roles that magnesium plays, it's no surprise that magnesium deficiency can produce a wide range of symptoms. These include weakness, fatigue, nausea, headaches, loss of appetite, cravings for stimulants like coffee, does that sound familiar? Abnormal heart rhythms, muscle cramps, numbness, tingling, insomnia, poor stress tolerance, and more. On the other hand, getting enough magnesium can significantly reduce your risk of some of the most common chronic diseases that plague us today. Magnesium promotes healthy cardiovascular function via several mechanisms, like helping us to regulate cardiac muscle function and thus protecting against the development of arrhythmia and heart failure. It helps to prevent or delay calcification of the heart's valves and arteries and supports healthy endothelial function and blood vessel relaxation, contributing to healthy blood pressure. In fact, magnesium is so important for cardiovascular health that people at high risk of heart attacks who consume the most magnesium have a 34% lower risk of death compared to those that consume the least. Magnesium is also an essential mineral when it comes to converting carbohydrates and fats into energy as it's a cofactor for many of the enzymes involved in glucose metabolism. Studies have shown a clear dose-response relationship between magnesium intake and the risk of type 2 diabetes with each increment of 100 milligrams a day of magnesium leading to an 8 to 13% reduction in diabetes risk. Magnesium is one of the most potent natural substances for lowering blood pressure. A review of 49 clinical trials found that at the appropriate doses, magnesium supplementation can reduce blood pressure in those with uncontrolled hypertension. And magnesium is critical for bone health. It's an essential element of the physical structure of bone tissue and helps contribute to maintaining bone mass. It plays a role in the secretion of parathyroid hormone, PTH, and the expression of PTH receptors, regulating calcium levels in the body and supporting healthy bone remodeling, which is the lifelong process by which mature bone is removed and new bone is formed. Studies have shown that magnesium supplementation increases bone mineral density in postmenopausal women with osteoporosis, primarily by suppressing bone turnover. Magnesium is also essential for women's health, preventing headaches and migraines, cognitive and neurological function, mental and behavioral health, digestive function, reducing chronic pain, and mitigating the impacts of chronic stress. I have an article on my website that goes into much more depth on the functions of magnesium, and I'll put a link to that in the description. But I hope it's clear by now that maintaining optimal magnesium levels is critical for our health and longevity. Sadly, recent statistics suggest that almost no one consumes the ideal amount of magnesium. The table on the screen lists the recommended dietary allowance, or RDA, for magnesium, which varies by age, sex, and other factors like pregnancy and lactation. The RDA is 320 milligrams per day for an adult female and 420 milligrams a day for an adult male. However, it's important to note that the RDAs for magnesium were last published in 1997 using average body weights of 133 pounds for an adult female and 166 pounds for an adult male. 
But today, the average body weights for men and women are much higher, 169 pounds for women and 196 pounds for men as of 2021. So researchers published a study last year arguing that the RDAs for magnesium should be updated to reflect the increasing average body weights of the U.S. population. They recalculated the RDA for magnesium according to the current average weights of male and female adults and found that it should be significantly higher, up to roughly 535 milligrams per day for women and 660 milligrams per day for men. Here's the kicker. The average magnesium intake in the U.S. is about 265 milligrams per day for women and 340 milligrams per day for men. This means that most Americans are not getting enough magnesium, even if we use the lower outdated RDA values. And Americans are falling far short of the new recommended magnesium intake that's based on the current average body weights. In fact, the average male and female over 31 years of age are consuming 200 to 300 milligrams per day less magnesium than they need. Given what we know about the importance of magnesium for promoting optimal health and preventing disease, and given the recent upward revision of the RDA, or at least what the researchers suggested, I recommend the following targets for magnesium intake for adults. About 550 milligrams per day for women, and about 650 milligrams per day for men. So how do we ensure that we meet these daily targets? Well, there are two options, food and supplements. The top food sources of magnesium are green leafy vegetables like spinach, sea vegetables like agar or spirulina, seeds, particularly pumpkin and chia, spices like coriander and chives, cacao and chocolate, which is good news, right? And nuts like almonds and cashews. But while it's important to eat as much magnesium-rich food as possible, it's difficult to reach the optimal intake from food alone. And there are three reasons for this. First, only about 30 to 40% of the magnesium we consume in the diet is absorbed by the body. Many foods that are rich in magnesium, like spinach, are also high in compounds like oxalic acid, which decrease magnesium absorption. Second, due to changes in soil quality over the past few decades, the amount of magnesium found in the food we eat has declined precipitously. Between 1940 and 1991, magnesium content in vegetables in the U.S. decreased by 24%, in fruit by 17%, in meat by 15%, and in cheese by 26%. In the U.K., the decline was closer to 35% over that period. Given that these data were published more than 30 years ago, it's likely that today, in 2022, the magnesium content in food is even lower. Third, even if we ignore the first two points, it can be difficult to eat enough high magnesium foods each day. On a given day, if you ate an ounce of pumpkin seeds, a half cup of boiled spinach, a baked potato, eight ounces of yogurt, a banana, and six ounces of salmon, you'd be at 400 milligrams of magnesium, at least on paper. But that's still short of the new target of 550 milligrams per day for women and 650 for men. And that's probably a significant overestimate of what you'd get from those foods because of declining soil quality and the fact that we can only absorb 30 to 40% of the listed magnesium values. This means that for most people, supplementation with magnesium will be required to reach the optimal levels. When supplementing with any nutrient, we should always consider which form will be best absorbed. Many over-the-counter magnesium supplements are not well absorbed, and this can lead to undesirable GI side effects like sudden loose stools, gas, or an upset stomach. Buffered chelated forms of magnesium are a much better choice. Chelation is a natural process that usually occurs in the small intestine in a person with optimal digestion. Minerals like magnesium, calcium, or selenium are bound to an amino acid or peptide, giving the molecule a structure that's more readily absorbed by the body. But today, many of us experience less robust digestion for several reasons, like stress, rushed meals, inflammation in the gut, SIBO, etc. Taking a magnesium supplement that's already chelated allows us to quickly absorb and reap the benefits of magnesium without any non-chelated magnesium molecules making it into your gut and causing irritation and GI side effects. 
This explains why buffered magnesium chelates have been shown to be most effective for people with digestive issues, such as those with inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. If you're looking for a magnesium supplement, check out BioVail Mag from Adapt Naturals, my own supplement line. It contains 300 milligrams per serving of buffered magnesium chelate to help close the gap between the average daily intake of magnesium in the US and then the optimal amount that we should be getting. I'll include a link to it in the description. Okay, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button in the lower right and tap the notification bell so you'll be updated when I release new content. If you know someone that might benefit from this, please share it with them by clicking the share button right under the video. And finally, just a reminder to check out the description section for links to the articles and studies I mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.